Morning boys and girls, we're out in uh, Wolverhampton today, but we've come and see our um, my stepmum and uh, spend the weekend before I do a video while down here. So we've got our beast and we're going to do some lip picking while we're here because there's a few bits and pieces around. Um, so we'll let you know how we get on. Can we say hello? We've got... Hello. We've got this is uh, my stepmum Sue. Hello. And this is... Uh, Mo. <laughs> How many are you? <laughs> Here's Mo. Say hello, Mo. Morning. <laughs> He's been busy chasing the ducks this morning. And um, we got Dawn. Say hello, Dawn. Hi. So I'll get my magnet in, see what I can find, and then do a little bit of lip, lip picking afterwards. And uh, we'll let you know if you find stuff. So, first find today. It's a bike lock that's been cut whether that's actually for a bike or whether that was for a motorbike or something but yeah that's my first find of the day got myself a padlock with a bit of chain so got a bit of uh, iron out here but it's got like that thing on the i think this is part of a bed or part of a sofa or something springs in the end yeah I don't know oh yeah but a little bit wildlife on there as well <laughs> is it? Okay. Right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and the elephant in the room is there's a trolley down here the minute I pull that out I'm calling a scrap man so yeah it's all good, find your stuff. Oh, I just found one of these. It's a foot plate off of a wheelchair or something. So, yep, yeah, found one of them. And what else we've got in here? We've got a bottle cap. Budweiser. And we've got a penny on the side here. Can't get it off. You get the penny, I got a penny, I got a penny. So we get a few more of them. That's a nice shiny one, that one. Usable. <laughs> that, I think, is a leg from a bed or a coffee table or something. It's got a screw hole in the end there. So, yeah, and a nut, rusty nut. Shout out to Rusty Nuts. While I'm here, I want to give a shout out to my mate Alex at Sleaford Dippers. Go and like and subscribe to his channel. Puck a bloke. Loving the bits. There you go, me a tool. That's a pretty funky find. Uh, it's not your normal set either. No. They're never going to work again, uh, but they're actually long nosed needle pliers but bent over at the top. So, yeah, nice little find that. Oh, I just found one of these. Don't know what it is. I thought it was a road sign when I first pulled it up, but it just looks like a bit of a metal plate for something. So, yeah, I've no idea what this is. You're definitely going to have to have the scrap man then, won't you? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, I just pulled out a safe. Look at this beauty. Oh, and, there's a bit of old chain from something. Nice and clean, so that ain't been in there that long. Find a use for that. Let's see what we got inside here. <coughs> so that's just an old towel. There's an old uh, t-shirt of some sort. Or pillow case. Pillow case, yeah. Oil. 
Oh, wow. Okay. So somebody's passport. You might have to bring the camera over a bit, babe. Um, yeah, it depends what's in it. Um, so that's savings account book. Oops, started breaking already. Um, what I will do is I'll probably dump the safe and I'm going to keep these bits to try and work out who it is. They probably, oh, oh my God. Oh, wow. So I shall be definitely contacting the person involved to let them know that I've found the safe and we shall get this money back to them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 200 quid there. So I should be getting hold of the person and hopefully getting that back to them. But that is the biggest find I've ever found. The most valuable find that I've ever found. Let's see if there's anything else in here. There's a bit of chain as well. Uh, I think it's just a bit of, it's actually on an eye bolt, so that would have, it's not worth anything. Let's see if there's anything else in here. I think that's it. We'll empty it out. Got holes on the back, so it should empty it out. Wow. So, here we go, guys. A load of rubbish, a safe, a few books, and it's got a name in the front here, this passport, so I will be contacting the people and letting them know that I've found their safe. So, yeah, that's pretty amazing, that. Wow. I, I really don't know what to say. Uh, what a puck of find. Now, if that's all I've found today, I'm happy. And so will the person be to get his money back. Morning. So yeah, I'm a bit blown away by that safe and uh, hopefully we can get a hold of the owners. Um, but yeah, that's, that's going to be my favorite, my best find today, I think. Uh, nice and early, but um, yeah, let's hope this, uh, I'm going to stop for a bit and do a bit of litter picking and that, just clear up the area a little bit and then uh, we'll come back to you soon. Found a tool. And a drill bit. I like finding tools. I'm a happy man if I can find tools all day. I love finding tools. So I've got a couple of bits. Chav can. Flies. Broom handle. And bit of a trolley. Morrison's. There you go. No pound in there. All gone. Oh well. But at least I'm finding stuff, eh? Morning. Just thought I'd show you a couple of bits I've got out. A big old scaffold pole. Another leg. So there's two I've had there. That's a uh, old part of a um, bootlayer's tool. Trowel. Not very good lift. Uh, can, old coupling hook, and this little round thing, and a bit of a bit of a bar or something. And that there is the rubber for a windscreen, for a car windscreen. 
so yeah, that's all going to rubbish. And let's have a little show you what we've got over here. And, um, I found some 10p's and 5p's and a bit of chain. And, yeah, it's been, uh, been good today. Got a few finds out. And now uh, I've probably been moving location. Which is quite a nice little place here. So, uh, we should be seeing you soon. So, I called a scrapper and he said, get the trolleys out because he'll take them. So, let's see how many trolleys I can get out. Because I've found a couple. Only Geezer last used it was called Arthur. Because it's Arthur Trolley. <laughs> oh, that is a strange one, isn't it? and got myself stuck on the metal side so I'm gonna have to go up there and pull it from that direction so let's hope it works so I'll chuck that up there Right, so we've had that one trolley out, half a trolley, and now I've just got that one out. So this one is a bit of a rider, making all the wheels work. So yeah, nice little. It's a rider! It's a rider! So, uh, something to put the scrap in. Um, yeah, I can. We're on number three now, there's another one down here. So I'm going to park that one just there. And then we're going to find these wheels. Where are these wheels? There we are. That's how not to do it. I don't think this one's a rider. No. Got no way to sit. <laughs> oh, it'd be a long time before I go in. Third bit of trolley. So now 
we go down this way. Okay. Uh, having a week. Uh, Trolley number four. I think the wheels locked on it. Yeah, it's a bit. <laughs> it wants to go sideways. <laughs> I don't want to be on the screen. How is that possible? Oh, See how easy that would come off. That was another, I think that's another rider. It looks square. Yeah. Oh, oh no, don't want it. Why? Ain't got a quid in it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rider! <laughs> yeah. So, it's come see you. <laughs> so, the scrap man said he'd take trolleys. <laughs> So I found a couple. Now I'm deserving of a break and I finish my tea. That's crazy. That's just everything here. Have a little pan round. So you've got two, three trolleys, two half a trolleys. And if you come over this way, you've got my find of the day. Safe. You see how they knocked all this front bit off so you can get into it. And then we've got a scaff bar, part of bed, lovely bit of metal there, and two legs off of some table or something. And then the windscreen thing, and another part of the trolley. That was quite a funky find, bit of a wheelchair. Somebody's missing a footrest. But uh, yeah, all in all, that was a great spot. So we're gonna have a little bit of a clean up, get this stuff ready for the scrap man, and we're gonna walk up to the next bridge. See you in a few minutes. Always shift your scrap, no matter how hard it is. <laughs> if it wasn't buckled before, it would be buckled. <laughs> this is harder than it looks, I'm telling you. Morning. We're, uh, I was about to pack up and go, but we've just bumped into, what's your name, mate? Pete. And uh, he's here with his daughter and uh, just out having a little fish. They're not on YouTube. This is his first time on the video. But he's got himself uh, a G. It's a uh, Eva. Oh, it's 360 Eva. Oh, it's, it's 60. It's all the way around, it's all magnetic. Oh, right, like a G60 or something. Is that what it's called? Yeah, of course, yeah. Is that, it's yeah. got a G60, and we've got a beast, and there's something down here. Something heavy. I kept coming off of it, I was going to leave it, but we've got a chance of another magnet, so we'll give it a go. So. Okay, so while they're looking for that, I will say that Pete doesn't have YouTube, but he does have Instagram, and his handle is magnetfisher123. So go and have a look, give him a follow. And um, yeah, show him some love. Up, oh, I'm clicking. So if anything, you come around me. Uh, 
Two magnets on it does. Wow. So what's that thing would you say? cast iron that I don't know what that would have come off but if we drain the canal I'll know why <laughs> yeah it's, it's a bit square bit. It's all got... <laughs> so yeah now we've just got to get it up to the top there yeah, we'll get that up fancy easy. giving me a hand yeah, of course. the steps Together. That's metal. 
So let's see what Dave's just pulled out. A bit of rubber and a bit of car, I think. A bit of clip. I still use that. Yeah. Got a brake shoe. I've got a bag. So let's have a look through this in this bag. Oh no! Just a load of old screws. Oh well. Yeah, just. Oh, what a lay down. Oh well, at least it's out of here though. Another trolley. So that makes five, six, seven, eight, nine. So seven full trolleys and two half trolleys in total today. And a couple of chap cans. There we go. That river. Another trolley. That's number ten. But as you can see, if Dawn shows you all around, you'll see how much rubbish there is. I'm going to go around and little pick it in a minute. Yeah, it's a torch. Torch. There's something in there. Ah, oh, not bad. Spray can. Yeah, as you can see, you picked up a whole bag full of rubbish while I've been down here as well. Getting all the cans and stuff out of the river. Looking a lot better now. So, yeah, looks a lot clearer down here now. There's a whole bag full of rubbish picked up along this stretch of the canal. So, yeah. And in another They're everywhere around here.
Hi guys, right, nearly at the end of the day. Uh, I've uh, called up a guy from the Dippers and Scrappers website. His name's George, and this is the man here. He's turned up, and uh, just uh, introduce yourself. Uh, tell him what George, you do. George, I'm a uh, scrap man, and if um, these guys are doing an absolutely brilliant job actually cleaning up the, the canal and whatnot. And what I'm saying is, if like any of you people out there are cleaning it up, and you're in the Bilston Wolverhampton area, just give me a call and I'll come and pick it up for you. Nice. Which phone number? It is 074-28-29-2725. Simple. Give them a call if you're in the area of magnet fishing. Uh, obviously, if you pull out enough to put in a carrier bag, don't waste his time. <laughs> but if, like me, you called him beforehand, told him you might get a couple of bits out, and he said he'd come and collect them. So, we got everything we could out for him. We did indeed. And, uh, this is the second pile, so this is only the second bridge we've done. So, yeah, a lot's coming out today. Brilliant. Nice, you, nice to meet you. You guys keep fishing. Thanks very much. Nice one. So, we're nearly done for today. We've been out all day. We had some cracking finds. And um, yeah, we're just going to do a little bit to show you what else I've got out and then we're going to pack everything away. Sorry, it's a bit dark underneath here, but I found a rolly and a bit of a racking. Pretty cool. And a couple of bars. I imagine it, I think these are off a roof rack or something like that. Uh, I don't know. Um, Chav cans, loads of chav cans, massive magnetic rock. Uh, there's a, a block, of, I think that's a light for a bike. It came up the same time as the bike. So, a few bottle caps and stuff, but pretty much rubbish but this here it's still got air in the tires and even though it hasn't got a seat oh no chains off mm -hmm. if I put the chain back on It's a rider! Right, that works. So, yeah. And if you have a look just there, you see a massive, great big lump of iron that I've just pulled out. So, we've had a cracking day, cracking finds. A lot of people have stopped and said that they're really thankful that I've been pulling out the trolleys and stuff and doing a, a little pick as I'm going um, just makes it all more, this whole area is a lot better for me coming here today. And uh, brilliant, like and subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you get informed when we bring up another video. And uh, it's goodbye from me and goodbye from Dawn. Bye. And we'll see you on the next adventure. Thanks for joining.